And we're back again. Alright, so... Mackie didn't really have nothing good to tell me. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Oh wait, what about over here? This alley. We haven't tried over here, let's see. Been everywhere else except here. Oh... I think this may be it. I like how it's like a water fountain. I think that's my favorite part. Wait, do I have subtitles on? Hmm. Yeah. I guess they were just too lazy to subtitle him. Young mister, I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Well, what do you know? I just so happen to have a bottle of bootleg rum. Yay! Okay, thank you very much. He's just gonna pass out or something. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. I thought he was fucking throwing his fart at me for a second. <sighs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor and an anchor in lip switch. Lip switch. But all Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were crying. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Hmm. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadoc. Who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. 
What the hell are these oaths? Okay, then. It's just that old waste about oaths of Dagon. I, he took the third oath. Just head over to his hole in that dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Alright, so he said Dark Street. It won't budge. Of course it won't fucking budge. Nothing in this fucking game budges. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. Okay. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? Miranda. Oh, man. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Okay. Now let's go. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Okay. I must leave before we're seen together. Well, I have no idea what this is going to do for me, but I guess I've let's go ahead and check it out. I've seen like symbols somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. My thoughts exactly, Jack. All right, all right. Let's not get off track. Uh, we need to talk to a girl named. Need to talk to a girl named Ruth when we get the chance, and we also need to head over to Dark Street. I need to remember this Dark Street. Uh, because this game doesn't really give you objectives. With you know, I'm not complaining about really, other than the fact that I get lost, and when I get lost, that sucks. So that's South Street. Well, that's a dark street. Mm. You know, this is actually very confusing. Or maybe it means this side. Yeah, it probably just means this side. It's unlocked. Yes. Monitor your heartbeat and breathing carefully to keep track of your current sanity as your sanity deteriorates. Deteriorates? Oh, I can't see the weird. <laughs> SSDs, man. Worth the investment. If I see you without fire, I'll report you over. I'll not say nothing. Okay, then. Um. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. Is there anything up there? Nope. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Alright. Mm, wow. He didn't say anything that time. Alright, let's see. So... We got bullets, but we don't have no gun. It's, uh, weird. Who is this lovely lad? Do you need any help? All right, so he's got a face. Disease is rampant in this town. I just tried to lean in with my actual head, and I hit my fucking mic. <laughs> Where is everybody? It's very quiet. This can't oh lie man! Outsider. Folks who know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. All righty. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Go ahead and shut that door. I don't like that guy. Well, we're in a poor house. It won't open. I doubt the poor would have any problem with me. Dude, what the fuck is this? Is 
I don't. So Lady Warren has passed away. The food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. Oh man. Well, anyway, it looks like it's being. Whoa! I just saw it. It looks like it's being presented in a way that it's like sending that vision to us. But maybe not. I'm like a moth to flame. All right. Wait. Person. This almshouse is oh, the old and the destitute. That's disgusting. Look at those fucking heels. Utter trash. More um, med kits. The old woman's dead. What the fuck, man? Come on, clean up the dead. Don't leave them laying there. It won't open. This game's actually way more uh, interesting than I thought it would much. be. I mean, I knew it would be interesting, but I'm surprised by uh, how sucked in I'm getting. What the hell's this? What is that? What's going on here? Did I suddenly get high? Somebody burning like pounds and pounds of weed? No, oh, you look gorgeous. Yeah, I don't want to talk to her. She gave me it won't open. a weird look. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. And see if I notice what you're saying, stranger. Okay then. That's uh I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't rightly says that I know him. My god. Whoa. I can't jump Jesus, over. Jesus, those people have been ripped apart. Are you serious? That's why they were cordoning off this tunnel. No, that's not why. Definitely not why. Oh, okay, what? What the fuck is this? Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. Yeah, just let a stranger into your home, little girl. check the place over while I've got the chance. Go ahead and shut that door. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, look at that. It's actually kind of cute. It won't budge. Oh. Fuck is that? Of course it won't budge, Jack. Nothing in your fucking life budges. It won't budge. It won't budge. I think she's cut. Uh, oh, okay. Is that mummy? That sure looks like it would be mummy. The door is bolted shut. Nah, I don't want to. It won't open. Nah, yeah, fuck it. What's behind door number one? The door is bolted shut. I just opened the fucking door. The door is bolted shut. Oh my god. Never mind, I'm stupid. Well... Okay. Well, that wasn't that wasn't scary. Okay. 
Oh my god, Jack, what have you done? Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh. Oh, there goes Ramona. Mummy ate Ramona. Wait, what's this? Is this one of them flashbacks? Oh my god. I sound like I'm trying to like fucking push my guts out through my throat. What the fuck kind of noise was that? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. What, what, what? The fuck is that thing? Use it! Go! Is that gonna heal it? Enter? No? S? Well, I don't know how to heal. Perfect. I guess we'll just stay, uh, scarred. That's fine. Before we get on stairs and confront Daddy, let's Looks go ahead and look like at this. Yeah, perfect. Let's see what the fuck's going on with that. The last entry in the diary is from today. It reads, Another sleepless night, I lay awake listening to the movements of that thing that I married, pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon. Damn the oaths. And damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No, burning him. Him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave, abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot and start a new life far, far away, but I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep on her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea of what she will become. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe in that order, starting clockwise. Well... What is her birthday again? Month, day, and year is the four number combination for my safe. In that order, starting clockwise. Well, when was she born, dude? Wait, yesterday was her 10th birthday. Ah, oh, I get you. It is as though I'm trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she's my daughter and I could never harm her. She's blameless in all of this. So wait, hold on. Month, day, and year. All right. When the time comes, and this will be the only place for her, and until then I must say, stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Okay, so. She is turning... Yesterday was her 10th birthday. But, when was this? Yesterday was her 10th birthday. What was today? I said something about the 7th. The 7th of what though? Wait. Seventh February 7th. Or was it the 6th? Hmm... So, February... Hmm... 2612? Maybe? I guess we'll see. But wait, where is the safe at? And how did that get into the room where the... The monster was? It won't open. 2612. Oh my god, hands for days. Well, I mean, technically we didn't open the door. Oh god. It broke no. the door. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after them 
burn him, lad. I heard he never made it to Boston. That he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with the crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe anyway? Yeah, what is in the safe? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. Oh my he god. But he didn't kill her. Do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends unless we handle things by the old ways. Fucking Jesus. Well, at least he didn't carry her so, like, rudely, I guess. I don't know. Could have been a lot worse. Could have dragged her out by the hair. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. It won't open. Alright, so before I forget. 2, 6, 12, right? 2, 6, 12, 2, 6, 12. It won't budge. It won't budge. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? Nothing I want to talk to you about, Strike. Alright then. Oh my Jack, god. Jack. Oh, thank god I found you. Waits been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. All right, then how do we do it? I mean, that's what I tried to do, but it didn't apply. I guess let's try it now. Maybe it'll work. Do we just do that and then... Oh, okay. So you select what you want to heal, and then you leave the the inventory slash whatever that is. Okay, and I think we're going to end it for now. So uh, again, thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more of this uh, series, if you want to see more Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe, not subscribe. Whatever, man. Bye.